a as a big Absolutely. shot. So Pamela Benson gets a lot of credit. Okay, what was your first question? Because I've forgotten it. Uh, privilege. It was. Uh, oh yeah, privilege. Is privilege wrong? Is there yeah. Privilege. Yeah, I mean, I hate the term privilege uh, as the way the way it is used, because um, because what is uh, what does privilege uh, mean? Privilege means some special grant or favor that you have received because of, uh, you know, it, it really comes from from the, the days of aristocracy where the aristocrats had some, uh, you know, advantage before the law they had some advantages granted to them by government by by and and so you were not equal before the law you were not equal in rights you were not equal in liberty you were granted a privilege you had privileges that other people did not have but it was granted to you and the way the way it's used today is any advantage that you have whether it's because you were born, I don't know, to a wealthy family, or whether it was because you were born uh, white, which supposedly is a, is a, is an advantage. Um, whether you were whether you were born, I guess, uh, uh, heterosexual, um, or whether you are heterosexual. Somehow, all of those things give you a, a, an advantage that is recognized in some formal way as a privilege by the authorities and 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 that is just nuts and it's 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 offensive and it's wrong and it's um it it just it it, it makes it impossible to have a discussion because they use it as an immediate you're irrelevant because you're privileged so you you can't even listen to you that you you have no you have no voice you have no say uh, you, you have no worth and and you certainly have owned nothing because whatever you have is a consequence of this privilege. It, it, nothing is nothing is actually uh, nothing is actually yours. And if you, if you're white and heterosexual and male, then forget about it. You might as well go hide in a corner, uh, put put you know tape on your mouth because you can't say anything, and uh, and and feel guilty for the rest of your life. So um, it, you know it's it's just it, it's it's just a horrible horrible way. Uh, to treat people and, and to and to and, and to perceive reality, and, and this is the left has really spent a lot of time and a lot of effort in in establishing this idea of um, of privilege in order to shut people down. It's they use it now as much, if not more, uh, than calling you racist, right? Because they they realize racist is a little tricky. Yeah, you have to show some evidence, and also. People immediately go back, you know, we're not racist, but privilege, oh, wait a minute, I am white, I am male, and I am heterosexual, Able. so therefore, automatically, I can't say anything, so I, I, I'm shut down, and so many people have internalized that, have accepted it, have, 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 have uh, endorsed it and internalized it, and now walk around, oh, I'm, you know, I, I need to feel guilty because I had a privileged life. Now, now there's a certain sense in which one should feel um, good about having a good life. I mean, I certainly am happy that I did not was not raised by abusive parents. I'm happy that I was born in the 20th century, uh, it, you know, after World War II, so I was not killed in 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 uh, in in the Holocaust. But but that's just this, you know. But that's meaningless, right? Because it's metaphysical. I just happen to be born that way. But um, I, I certainly don't feel guilty for the fact that certain positive things happen to me. Certain positive things happen to me by accident of birth. Good. I mean, great. And, and if somebody if somebody's raised by parents that are abusive, I'm saddened by that. that they, you know, but it doesn't mean that I am guilty because they are suffering. Their suffering is not a claim against me. Their suffering is not my moral condemnation. You know, you you should feel sorry for people who who have been unlucky and or bad stuff has happened to them, uh, but you should also say to them, you know, rise up above it. Lots of people have had screwy childhoods and done great. So at the end of the day, you're responsible for your own life. Uh, and um, absolutely. And and you know, go out there and make the most of that life, given whatever context you have. And yeah, some people have screwy context. I, I'm not. I'm not denying that, I'm not pretending they're all born equal, that, that 
or that luck doesn't play a role in life, but some people take advantage of luck and some people don't. Some people miss it up. Uh, and I, I, I don't deny the fact that some people have better genes than others, or that some people have better upbringings than others. But then the question is, what do you do about it? I'm just not going to feel guilty because somebody else is suffering. And I don't think anybody should feel guilty because somebody else is suffering. Unless you are responsible for that suffering. And then you should feel guilty, you know, assuming it's not just. All right, Skyler, great. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Really appreciate Thank it. You, doctor. Take care. Again, thanks.